The having event is near, family. This is big. This is big. I got to tell you, we are here. We are close. We are hours away. I'm so pumped. This is an event that does not happen often, but usually leads to massive gains. The Bitcoin having, And I got the charts. I got the charts. Man, do I got the charts. If you're bullish on crypto like I am, of course, all I'm asking hit the like button, join the community. We got a great community here and it's a ton of work out there, but I'm willing to do it. All I ask, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button up above, or I should say down below. And of course, hit the bell for notifications. If you really wanna be a part of the community, hit the join button and you can join, come on over as a uh, premium member and you're gonna get access to the new AI, the new bots and the biggest thing, the stock mo indicator bot, the bread bot. It is the one that gives you the charts just to give everybody an example because we're gonna get into this half coin, this half, the having a Bitcoin. Uh, but the new bots out there, almost ready. Uh, we are in beta, we're gonna be rolling this out shortly, but check this out, stock mo indicator. I'm just gonna put this in there. Bitcoin, let's pull up the Bitcoin and right there you go. We'll pull up Bitcoin, boom, put it out there. I don't even know what we pulled in, but we're gonna see the chart on this thing. Uh, and, it, and it comes out and it gives you the chart, which is beautiful, beautiful in telling you exactly what you need to do, all this good stuff. Bearish, that we know we're bearish now, obviously. Bullish on the way up, bearish on the way down. Beautiful chart. This is what I'm talking about. So if you are interested in this, get in there today. The bot is almost live. Plus we got all the, all the good stuff, the golden sweeps, the, the, the Bots out there pulling in the information, the team mo technicals, which you're seeing in here, so much more. Man, it's next level stuff. But let's be honest, today's all about the having. We're there, we're close, we're hours away. How close are we? Well, I'm making this video a little bit ahead of time, and we're a day, three hours. By the time you're watching it, it will not even be that far. We're close, family. April 20th, hours away, estimate, big time. But more importantly, how do we make money off of this? That's that's the key thing. Everybody, if you're watching this, you're like, hey, great, it's a it's a new event. It's like having the ball drop on New Year's Eve. I want to know how you can make money off of it, right? Or do you just want to kiss the person next to you and call it a day? Well, I think you want to stack up some cash here. Let's get some fat stacks and, and make something out of it. And, I, and here's what I'm about. I'm trying to put generational wealth to work here. I want to get that that kind of money that helps the next three generations. And that's why we're talking about this video today. So what do you got? Well, this is what we got. The halving prices, you can see what happened. $12, first halving. And it's crazy to see this. You get $12 at the first halving. And then by the second halving, what do we got? Six forty-eight, dollars right? Then the third halving. And this is just, it seems like yesterday. Tell me, is time going quick for you as well? Is time flowing like there's no tomorrow? 8572, third halving. Fourth halving. What are we at right now, Mo? Well, I just showed you. What are we at now, Mo? Well, here you go. 63411. Look at that. It's crazy. If you think about where we were, 8,000. Now we're at 63,000. So this went up crazy. But from here, it went up, you know, 13 times. From here, 63,000. This is a good one. The halving from 2020 to 2024, not that long ago. This seems like a huge increase. No, it doesn't, but it really was. It was seven to eight times your money. It's wild to think about, seven to eight times your money. So it's not going up by as much every time in terms of multipliers, but it's still multiplying. And so the question becomes, what happens to 2024 up to 2028? Wild stuff. So I'm trying to answer that for you. So boom, we pull up the chart. Mo, give us the answers. That's what I try to do. I try to go ahead and show you the answers on the test. Here's the answers on the test. Boom, they're right here in front of you, which as you can see them, you got after the events. This is the halving for Bitcoin prices in terms of percentages. We know the first one, it blew up, we get it. What about the next two, 16 and 20? 20 especially. You can see, but 16, that was kind of a bearish. 100 days later, we were only we were down 2.7%. 150 days later, five months, 15% up. Look at this, eight and a half months, up 78. And 10 months later, we're up 135%. 
In other words, based on prior action, no prior action does not guarantee future results, but it gives us an idea. Worst case scenario, five, five months later, everything was up. Best case scenario, everything's way up months later. So it happened. I think with spot ETFs lending that support, think about it. Think about it. Hong Kong just okayed spot ETFs for both Bitcoin and Ethereum. Now, I didn't talk about Ethereum yet. Does Ethereum get that love? Does Ethereum start to make bank for me? I think the answer is going to be yes. But I think you could have a sell the news event. And that happens all the time. I would argue we're having a sell the news event now, which I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you uh, basically what I'm talking about here. Let's pull up. Uh, let's pull up. Let's pull up Bitcoin. So I'm going to pull up Bitcoin. I should give you guys the charts here. So I'll pull up Bitcoin. We're going to see how this thing goes. And so as you can see with Bitcoin, I have the initial pop. I got the, the retracement. The Goldilocks zone for Bitcoin, and I, I called this way back in the day. And my chart, which you guys can now get in the Discord, well, shortly. Just like the halving. Like I, it should roll out at the same time as the halving rolls out. I might do it. I might, I might have it connected. That would be awesome. All right. Anyways, here you go. So my chart tells you what's going on. Buy on the lows, it runs up. Sell here, short, down. It's perfect, right? So the other thing you see using the chart though is the level here. Look at this level, 62,206, 59,461, the Goldilocks zone. And we bounced off the bottom of the Goldilocks zone. Folks, I wanna be the first to say this. This is a perfect retracement. Hit the 61.8, now we're bouncing back up. If we confirm a full candle above here, that's good news. Now what we want to do, and I'm going to be blunt, is we've been in this 38 to 50 for a while. We need to break above 65, just basically 65,000. 64,950. But if you break 64,950 and we confirm with another candle, this thing's going to run. In my opinion, it starts to run crazy alike. We get back into the main, and if you can break 73, it's really going to run. So I am loading up slowly but surely, waiting for that final blow-off bottom. The RSI is still under 50. We are still under the, the 50 EMA, so it's not like everything's good. If the 50 EMA acts as resistance, which has done one, two, possibly three times here, that's not good. And so even though I'm excited about this, maybe we get a little cup, handle, and take off. Or maybe, just maybe, we retest down here again. There's a couple of things we're watching for. And this chart doesn't give us quite enough information to change the bearish narrative. The only good thing is we're bouncing off that major 61.8% support. And I feel good about that. But now we dig into... And I'm going to tell you this. I think if people ask me when to buy and sell and stuff like that, anytime you're in the Goldilocks zone, if you're bullish long term, that's a beautiful place to buy. You got a 50 to 61.8% retracement off of the highs. That means it's dropped dramatically off of this run here. So we had this major run. It gave half the profits back, and then usually set up for the next leg up. Huge opportunity for long term investors. All right. What's the line in the sand though, Mo? Well, 59.510, if you confirm a candle underneath there holds and then confirmation on the next candle, I'm out. That's when I think it's time to go. You have to wait for a better opportunity. What about Ethereum? You guys know I'm big because Ethereum's going to be affected by all this. Ethereum, when it comes to the Bitcoin halving event and my Ethereum price prediction, I just gave you the Bitcoin price prediction. I still think they're the best cryptos to buy now, but Ethereum is in the Goldilocks zone as well absolutely there it's riding at 61.8 right now we are very bearish we got sideways with a little bit of trend up on the rsi need to see this thing break and confirm above 3180 once that happens i'll feel a lot better we have been down here for a while we got down on the bollinger band push back up down below the bollinger band back up we get three to four sometimes five to six days of consolidation because of that break and we are now on one, two, three, four, five, sometimes six days. And then we have a move up or down. It's going to happen. And it's all kind of going sideways now, waiting for the halving. Is it going to be, like I said, sell the news event or we have positive? Well, 
there is history for Ethereum. Ethereum, during the second halving, 2016, Ethereum was at $11. Three months afterwards, $11 at 20 cents. But look at this, four years later, $211. Basically, what do we get, 20 times your money? And then three months after the halving, boom, up 88%. It's going to follow. It's more mature since then. But I got to tell you, I do feel like it, it, it is going to rally, especially with the possibility of spot ETFs for Ethereum. Hong Kong just put out a spot ETF for Ethereum. Other places around the world, spot ETFs for Ethereum. Ethereum, the capability to stake and get staking rewards. Deflationary, higher utility, in my opinion. And so I think there's a lot of money to be had out there when it comes to the having event. And I, you should let me know what you think down below. Is it time to buy? Should we wait a week after the having? I'm going to be doing research. If you haven't, if you are wondering, Mo, do the work for me. I want to know the results. Is it better to buy now at the having or a week later? Stick around because I think you're going to like what I got for you. I'm going to do that work, pass the answer to the test over because I'm that kind of guy. And hopefully we both get A's on the test. And so if you haven't done it, like I said, join the Discord. We're going to be talking about these things. The bots are there. The AI is going to help us. More importantly, get your free stocks now because I'm still doing the small account challenge. We just got started. This is awesome. The Moo Moo link down below. Put $100 in. You get a, a fractional share of all seven of these. And you guys can see what they are. Tesla, NVIDIA, Google, Amazon. Facebook, Apple, Microsoft. You get a little piece of each one for only putting 100 in and using my link below. Family, small account challenges live. The Discord's popping. It's time for you to take it to the next level. Get over and join us. That's what I got for an update. Let me know what you think down below. I appreciate you stopping by. Let's get out there and crush it.